Hey everybody. Today I'm going to attempt to try to silk screen my own t-shirts. So first thing I did is I made myself a frame. I got the wood at Home Depot and then I went and bought this is a sheer curtain that I got at Walmart for like five dollars. I just cut the shape and stretched it over. Now for the design what I ended up doing is this is a fellows laminating sheet so this side is like paper and the other side had a sticky back to it so I cut it to fit through my printer unfortunately my printer has a printer cartridge it's not an inkjet so when it printed the design out you could see how it messed up and it powdered that's okay so I ran it through twice and I finally got my design so then I cut my design out very carefully with um a uh, knife. I'm trying to think what type of knife. It wasn't exact. It was not an exacto knife. It was more of a cutter cutting knife. Then what I did is I peeled the sticky part off the back. And if you notice on the back here how this is shiny, that is the fellow's paper that I stuck to the back here. I just got to be sure that it's all stuck to my screen nice and tight. So then we have our t-shirts. I have a piece of masonite underneath. I've kind of lined up everything where I want it to be. I have the, my mark there, and then I know it's supposed to be right about there. Then I went to the dollar store, and I bought a squeegee. I need to cut the squeegee off so it fits in here nice. Then I went to Michael's, and I bought the Speedball Screen Printing Ink. This is $10. In the store, it's not where you think it is. Ask somebody, they have they have all the screen pin and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my knife. Excuse me, I'm gonna get a knife and I'm gonna cut my squeegee down to fit in my screen print and we'll try to screen pin a couple shirts. I also bought a couple cheap dollar store hats that I'm gonna try to screen print also. I have an extra piece of masonite somewhere and I'll make a masonite frame to put in the back and we'll try to screen print a couple of hats too to see how it turns out. So let me get the rest set up and we'll come back. All right, before I take and do it on the actual shirt so I don't ruin a bunch of brand new shirts, I went and got one of my old shirts. And this is one of the ones that an ink company did for me and they've lasted pretty good. So the first one I did was this one. You can see it's kind of thin around the outside edges. So I just kept doing it. And then this one here, I had too much ink. This one here is a little blurry. I do believe this is the best one out of the bunch. It's still a little thin there. And then this one came out really good. This was with about two swipes. And here's another one I did, and here's another one I did. It actually worked pretty good, except for I'm doing like 21 shirts. So I got about all the shirts done until I got to about number 18, and then it started to dry out around the outer edges on my screen, and it started to mess up. So I got to stop, clean my screen, let it dry out. Maybe I'll get a video of me actually trying to do it on the last shirts. And then also too, since I was using that that nylon screen, I tried a hair dryer and tried to dry it, and I melted some of the screen. So I guess maybe the nylon screen is not the way to go, and to buy a proper speedball screen. So here's one of the shirts that I did do. It's uh, a little thin, but it looks pretty good. So you can see here with the. Uh, I tried to wash it out with soap and water and then I got a hair dryer and I held the hair dryer too close and the hair dryer actually blew holes in the screen because it's nothing but I guess it's polyester so I continued to use it I don't know if this is actually one of the shirts that that is not one of the shirts that I used but I had a little blobbing so I took a q-tip to kind of move the the uh, speedball ink around so all in all, I think they turned out pretty good. After I heat set them in, we'll see how good they last. Next time I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually buy one of the screens 
but I think I'm still gonna do the same thing with using the plastic because it's way cheaper than using the photo sensitive um, stuff that you put in the screen and you burn the screen and you wash it out. That stuff's like 30 some dollars and these here, I can print them out and cut them out on my own as long as the design isn't too um, complicated to cut out. All right, well, there we go. Uh, maybe I'll get another video of me doing the last shirts once the weather kind of looked like it was going to rain, but now it dried out. So maybe I'll get a video of me doing the last two shirts.